Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mix It Up podcast. I'm Mike. That's Nick. Nick, again, Eugene is back. Third time's a charm, man. Like, we didn't get kicked off last week, so you figured he'd come back on again. What's up, Eugene? How's it going? How's everything going, guys? How are the listeners doing? That's the question. I want to know how, how people are doing. Leave a comment somewhere, either wherever Mike Trainer posts all these things. You know, give us a shout out. Let us know what's happening. All the listeners are in my basement tied up right now. <laughs> You're forcing them to listen. <laughs> but we do have another listener. We, we, we upgraded, man. We, we found new listeners, Nick. Do you know where they came from this time around? They around came, the corner? They, they came from? from besides your basement? <laughs> they came from France. Wow. We have people nice. listening from France. So shout out to like France, wherever that is we on wait. the globe. <laughs> I, that's what I do. I need a globe, man, to figure out where France is. I think it's like by what? Like like south of Florida or some shit? Yeah, it's right underneath Florida. It's, it's right near Cuba. Knew it. Do, I when, fucking knew it. Do do French say like I have to go take a wee a, like you know kids like I gotta take a wee wee right and they're like what do you mean you gotta take a yes yes I don't get it <laughs> a yes yes <laughs> <laughs> terrible joke terrible dad joke what do you call poo poo take what? a poo poo or a, <laughs> a doo doo or a no no <laughs> take a no no <laughs> nope I think. You- I think we have to stop talking about this now because I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> the words for taking a shit. The Forget words it. aren't adding up to me, man. <laughs> a no, no. <laughs> well, you we say yes, yes for a wee wee. <laughs> but that makes sense because wee wee means fucking yes. Wee means yes. Oh, that's what it means in France? In French? That's the only word that everybody knows is fucking wee wee. Oh, I thought they were just being stupid. It's shit. Yeah, it could be, but don't make fun Maybe. of the French, man. There are one, there are one, there are one tenth of our fucking our fan base, right? Now. No shit, I fucking love you guys, man. I just don't understand your language. That's all. Hey, the protesting that they're doing is is good work. They're doing really good work out there. I wish, I wish the entire world was doing what they're doing. You heard it. Your leader, your leader, just commended you guys. Keep it up, France. Keep it up, guys. <laughs> there guys somewhere. Great. Somewhere along the line, somebody in France was like, our leader, Eugene, is out there. He's looking at us. He's watching us. Who's this Eugene guy? Listen to the Mix It Up podcast, and you'll find out this week. That's Raise it. hell in France. What? Raise hell. Go crazy, man. <laughs> what are they doing? up to you. There? Well, are, are they doing – are they still, like, going – running rampant and fucking going wild out there? Yeah, they're going nuts. They're still, they're protesting, they're protesting it up. They're really going crazy over there. Good. And uh, I think maybe they're, they're like the head country as far as, as far as the protests go. Yeah. Are they protesting uh, like every night in the streets or is it just like a weekly thing? How are they doing? They've been, they've been protesting forever now. Like I, I forget, I forget how, what they started with, but they, I remember when they first started protests, they, they had the, uh, the guillotines ready you know all that stuff like it's like wow these people are i, I, I was i was thinking that it was set up that it wasn't real huh <laughs> they, they still chop people's heads off over there apparently they 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 wanted to start chopping heads that, that was what, <laughs> in front of in front of like in front of their 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 city buildings and all that you know all the all their building departments they yeah. they put out they put i saw like this big guillotine guillotine right i get i get a little mixed up now that i'm in i'm in uh I'm in Dominican Republic with my words, but anyway, that's the right yeah, word. They're, 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 they're big time. They're big time with the protests. I'm, I'm proud of them. So the they're government, w- the government was set up a guillotine and was just going to let the heads roll. Not the government, the people, the people went out and like set up a guillotine out in front of the government buildings. I, I wow. remember watching on the news and I was like, is this real? Or is this just, you know, more, more propaganda. It's a blow up. It's real. It was a blow up fucking blow up guillotine for like a party <laughs> <laughs> with the wavy little arms and shit. Am wow. I allowed to love you? You never know what's set up anymore. When you're when you're watching the news, you just have no clue what's what's real, what's not. So yeah. you are fake news. Well, Tell me about it. Do you guys want me to uh, discuss our topics this week and then we'll jump in on one or what? Yeah, let's roll. All right. Well, we have. Um, <sighs> Let's see. 
uh, possibly we're, we're probably not even going to get to this topic. I'm going to shoot it out there anyway. Weather manipulation. I know we're not going to get to that topic. There's always um, every show where there's something we don't ever get to. Do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about Australia and how they're like just herding children together and fucking just massively shooting them up with fucking uh, vaccines and shit without their parents being able to be in there or something like that. Um, black lights. I read this. <laughs> I hope maybe there's more to it, but I read something about it and I don't, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Um, and then like crime in, uh, I know New York, but I don't know about the rest of the country, but like, they're just like the criminal reform, whatever, whoever put this in, like in charge, uh, put this into action. It's just an insane person because they're just letting people out on the streets, like criminals. So you're which, saying uh, that that's like New York, right? Yeah, I guess we'll talk about. Can we talk about that one first? Let's, yeah, let's roll right into that, man. All right. So I know a cop. I can't mention his name, um, but he's told me instances where, basically, if you got a, if you have a gun on you, they let you out without bail. They let you out the fucking next day. They let you out of prison. You, an illegal gun. And what? A few years ago, if you got caught with an illegal gun, it was like three three years, <laughs> fucking prison. Right? Right? It was like automatic three years, and. Some people are saying, you know, maybe they're only trying to crack down on the legal gun owners where they'll be like, oh, you say you have a, a clip that holds 10 and you're only allowed to hold seven or something like that. You go to jail for like a year for each like extra bullet that your clip could hold or something like that. Jesus. But they're letting these people out. And there's an instance recently where a kid, three kids killed, killed a guy, robbed him, took a fucking dollar from him. That's the fuck, you know, those stories like, oh, all they got was a dollar. The judge let him out of prison without fucking bail. He was a fucking minor. Let him out. And then he stabbed somebody else and then let him out again. That's what they're doing, though. They're, they're, there's like no bail. And you go out and you roam the fucking streets again. So what kind of fucking justice is this to think, yo, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'll go fucking shoot somebody tomorrow. I'll be out on, fuck, on the street tomorrow. I'll go fucking beat the shit out of somebody. I'll go rob somebody. And, th- and they're just going to keep letting me out. I know when my trial, they know where their trial is and they can just go on bail and fucking just cause havoc and then decide they want to skip town and fucking and move to another country if they wanted to. What kind of bullshit is this, man? You do the crime, you do the time. <laughs> can't pay the, you can't do the time, don't do the crime. <laughs> I mean, that's how it's like is, right? Like ever since we were kids, we played cops and robbers. We do something bad, you got to fucking go to jail. Like that's it. <laughs> it's fucking simple like i don't know why they're fucking letting these people out like is it just because like uh like overcrowding like po- is it a population is or they it's just the, the way these people elected officials just made this yeah of a big reform that's fucking insane like i mean the the judge let him out right which means that the judge has to be answering to somebody else and there is a higher power doing this right it's probably yeah, fucking sure. it's a blasio in fucking new york city when there's no and cops then, around anything's legal what are you gonna do you, you're gonna fucking say no mayor de blasio yes that's what you should fucking see say as a as a judge your job is to fucking bring down the fucking axe on people man not let them go to hurt fucking other innocent people and these people like now that this kid's out on the streets and the lady has to like walk into her house and the kid's like hanging out on the street fucking two blocks away. What kind of fucking justice is that, man? That's not fucking right because innocent fucking people are scared and they're getting fucking fucked. Imagine that guy just got out of jail. He comes and shoots you. That fucking everybody should be held accountable for that shit, man. The fucking judge who let him out like that fucking remember that movie with uh, the guy who goes around just killing all the fuck like kills the the, the all the DAs and shit like that. The guy from 300. You know the main guy? Oh, fuck. You know what I'm talking about. There's this movie. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but basically. Falling you know, Down. No, it's Michael not. Douglas. No. <laughs> basically, the, D- the DA's office takes a fucking, gives this guy a break on his sentence because he ratted on somebody, right? Guy comes out of prison, ends up killing this guy's wife and kid. Oh right? yeah, because they yeah, got dude, out. I see. I seen this movie. Yeah, so he basically makes his whole life about getting revenge on these motherfuckers and pays them back. The people that let him out. You That's know? what's gonna happen, though. The people are gonna start taking shit in their own hands. They're like, all right, if this guy killed, like, say, my cousin or whatever, I'm like, all right, well, now I could kill this dude that killed my cousin because fair is fair. If he didn't get fucking charged, he let out on this criminal form. I should be exempt too. 
and then people are just going to be fucking like it's just going to be a lot of vengeance and shit out there. That's what's that's what the new world's going to be. It's going to be probably like that. Yeah, instead of becoming more lenient, they should have become they should have got stricter. I mean, if you know that somebody did something like clear as day, blatant, fucking kill them. If it's something that fucking bad, you know what I mean? You're right. One eight seven, like demolition man. You know, and that's I know that's not uh, is it the right thing? Maybe it is because then you know that that, that the, the fucking axe is going to come down on you next time you do something fucking stupid. You rape somebody, you're dead now. Or not even give him something fucking worse, you know, give him something fucking worse. You can find a torture method to make him do that, uh, that nobody will ever want to fucking rape somebody ever again. You know what I mean? Come on. Put it on, put it on public display and shit. Like if it's on oh, yeah. like YouTube or whatever, like, you know, these fucking maniacs do whatever with the beheading. Yeah. You won't want to do that kind of shit. Fuck. I mean, do they when what was I wonder when crime was worse when it was the eye for an eye, <laughs> you know, or now? Because you know that you don't want to fuck with somebody if, you know, I punch you in your face and I get caught. You have to punch me in my face, <laughs> you know? You right. don't want to, if you're not going to want to get raped. Oh, right. shit, if I get caught ra- uh, performing a rape, I'm going to get raped. <laughs> it should be tenfold, you know? I'm going to get raped right. ten times. You know, like, fucking stupid-ass world we live in. Whatever, I'm done talking. System. The criminal justice system has been broken now forever. It, it never worked right. Prisoners going to jail, the, the recidiv- recidivism, recidivism rate, recidivism rate is like. Makes sense. It, what, yeah, is, what, is what is that word? Like, what is that word? It means that. It means that, that Use it in a sentence. Did, I don't know. <laughs> it just did. It, means that, oh, yeah. it, means, it just means that criminals go, go and continue, continue doing crimes as soon as they get out of, get out of jail again. They, they don't gotcha. learn their lesson. It's 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 way up there. It's a very high percentage of, of criminals that do that. So we know that the justice system doesn't work. I'm shocked to hear what you're saying about about the gun laws in or the the in, in New York City, what's happening in, in New York, because New York was like the strictest place, one of the strictest states to 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 carry a gun. And and if you get caught carrying a gun in New York, like I remember here and it was like that's it you you're done like you you're going to jail and you're going to jail for a while so for you to say this it it's shocking you know and everything else is I, yo they they're doing it they're doing it because they they you know the the main agenda in my in my mind it just keeps coming up i'm sorry but they want to destroy the united states yeah and and it, this is how you do it you know you just you you ease up on the laws you 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 defund the police. I mean, all this crazy, stupid stuff, man. You 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 fund Black Lives Matter, Antifa, whatever it is that you're doing. You you that they're allowed to congregate, but you can't go to church. I mean, there's some crazy things happening. Yeah, but who wants to bring down the United States? Is it China? Is it really them? Because they want to be the all most powerful. No, nah, I, I mean, I think. Then the who? Whole, like, is it an inside job? Check out, check out the, check out the Zoom. Check out the the Zoom homepage. It says we're in this together, right? I I heard this on on other on other uh, podcasts and channels, whatever. We're in this together. I mean, the whole world is in on this this you know this conspiracy. They're they're every like all the countries are in on it. The UN, all the UN countries are in on it. Wow. So I I don't know. I, I believe it. I believe it. It's not that fucking hard for, for all the leaders to be like, who, who have to be certain kinds of friends, right? I'm the fucking president of the US. You're the president of France or whatever the fuck he is. You're the prime minister of fucking Great Britain. Eventually, they'll be hopping on a Zoom call together and they're fucking informed by the leaders of their, the, the true leaders of their fucking country. I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, you're just our little fucking bitch and this is how things go. And if you don't like it, you'll be fucking floating down the Hudson fucking River, right? Okay, exactly. fine. You want to be rich or you want to be a fucking canoe for somebody? No, you want to be fucking rich and you want to be powerful. And and that just, uh, that just proves it to you because if all of these countries are doing, like France is putting the fucking, pulling the reins on it, we're starting to pull the fucking reins on it. What countries aren't pulling the reins on it? You know what I mean? What country is having the balls to be like, no, I'm not fucking shutting my whole country down. You know? That's what happens with with a lot of like countries like that. Exactly. 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 The the Haitian president got got assassinated the other day. You hear me? No. Yeah, no, we hear you. Yeah, Yeah, the Haitian president uh, maybe a month ago got, got assassinated, I think. I don't even, I'm not sure exactly. I didn't, 
I didn't read into it, but I heard it because obviously Haiti's right next to, uh, we're on the same island. So anyway, that happened. Uh, there's, there's all these things happening. There's presidents that are speaking out, but you just don't hear about it. They, they will not, don't, they will never mention those presidents. Uh, Mexican, the Mexican president, I don't know his name. I know that he's, he's against what's, what's happening with this whole, the COVID re regulations and all that. And then just, I think yesterday, the Brazilian president, another guy, I don't, I don't know his name, but I just I listened to another uh, quick segment with him. He just said, everybody needs to get a gun so the elites don't make you a prisoner. He said, I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he said. So, I mean, wow. that's fuck. That's scary, man. It's, it is scary. It's scary. And, and it's the world that we're living in now. That's it's the not, president. it's that's not the, five years from now. It's, it's now. That was the president of Brazil said that? The president of Brazil. You could look in, you could look it up. That's he why. Said, Everybody yeah. needs a gun so, so we don't become enslaved. That was what he said. Imagine, oh, imagine, imagine Trump said that. <laughs> right. I was just thinking the same fucking thing. Like people, yo, those, you saw, there's a certain group of people that would have fucking been like, yep, let's go to the fucking gun store. We're moving upstate. We're going to be in the woods. Fox fucking. Fox now, man. I probably would have moved into the woods, but I'm talking more about the the people that are were against him and that were like, look at this fucking loaded tech telling us all the fucking oh, yeah. guns. You know what they I mean? Like they would have lost their fucking minds. God, yeah. If you let it in, hey! And all the Brazilians were probably like, that's right, motherfucker. <laughs> like they all have <laughs> guns anyway, bro. <laughs> right, they're waiting for shit to happen. Yeah. They're prepared. We're not prepared. The, the United States is the most. No, the United States has. They're, we are the United States is well armed, very well armed, and they, they know this. And they, but they go about things a different way. It doesn't have to. They don't have to go and have a war with guns anymore, with missiles. We have, we got bioweapons now. We got all, all kinds of things. Yeah. They're spraying the skies, man. There's things going on that people are not talking about that they should be talking about. Technology. What are you breathing? What are you breathing? <laughs> air, air, baby. Tons this of air. Boron. This air is different. It's just different now. I mean, the, the corona tastes the same, dude. The corona could have been just a fucking test to see how well they could control the yeah. the strength of a virus, the destructive nature of it, and to see how well they could control us as well. But you know, now somebody could easily be like, "Oh, did you see how well it worked? Well, we got it down. You know, we controlled it." I told you if we just we just modify this one genome over here, we can make it a ninety seven percent kill rate. You know, <laughs> it's that fucking easy when you're that fucking smart. I think you're right, Nick. They want to depopulate the fucking earth, man. They're working on it. They yeah, are. I mean, maybe. Could but be. we're here. You know, they weren't expecting the three of us. We're gonna we're gonna turn things around. They tried to kill us. They tried to kill all of us if we lived. <laughs> you hear that, everybody? We we are your last hope. We are, we are the last hope. It's up to me, Eugene, and Nick. That's why Mike keeps that uh, that weird background, so I <laughs> don't know where he is ever. <laughs> hey, listen. Mars. They got us, man. They, they should not fear anything. We got yeah. this. We will lead you to uh, the slaughter, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Now we'll lead you to the promised land if you just smash that button and like and subscribe. Baby. <laughs> Get that ad revenue in there, man! Come on, we need it. Oh shit! Yeah, so those um, vaccines, dude. Like it was, it was crazy. Like, did you see like the uh, videos I sent you, like or Eugene sent us, like with the um the people that got the vaccine in their arm? They they put their fucking iPhone on there and that shit started like charging. Like, really? Yeah, like I don't know if I believe that video. It just seems way <laughs> too far fetched. Like, I mean, might as well just fucking go for it all. Just fucking put the fucking phone on your fucking, you know, your butt cheek and see if it charges there. You know, I mean, that's what's fucking next. I don't know if I fucking believe that kind of shit though. This, I'm not sure about either. I'm not sure about it either. Not not that one at least. But you know, he's the first one that I saw. But it's possible. Hey. It's possible. Hey. The other one, though, the other one that the, the the girl that got the vaccine had all the uh, blood clots like in her mouth and in, inside of her mouth, like on her arm and shit. Like 
and you could see it like that that video that video was fucking real she's like showing us she's at the doctor's office but they don't put that kind of shit in the fucking news but that no, shit was that's, sick that's true i i mean i'm 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 pretty sure that's real i, I don't think she's somehow making you know scarring the inside of her mouth with you know Maybe. I mean, who knows? Who knows what people do to get attention these days, whatever. But I, I, I the blood clot thing is real. People are, it's, people are getting tons and tons of blood clots. And then shortly Stop. after, many of them are dying. Many of them. There's like 45,000 people that they've listed that they said have died already from, from this, from the shot. So. Right, but they don't say that. They don't say that on our the mainstream news. And then if you go against that, then you get suspended or blocked from Twitter or all that fucking bullshit like I did. Right. It's crazy. You can't they 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 want to like keep your mouth shut. They they don't want you to see these videos. They don't want you to see like the truth. I don't know if they don't want you to see these videos because they don't want to get, you know, people that are on the fence to get like so terrified to not get it. So they, maybe they, they keep that out of the fucking mainstream news because they they want you to get vaccinated. That's probably what it is. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I think that could be it. But it's like it, it's just weird how they kind of like censor you like a little bit. Like I got kicked off of Twitter for a week. I'm in Twitter jail now again because I had a joke. Like one of the guys, like the James Cordon, the the guy that does like the uh, he's like the Jay Leno type. He does like the uh, you know new the uh, interview celebrities and shit, like at like midnight or whatever fucking show he's on. So he was in the streets. He like he was you know doing some kind of thing for TV. Somebody pulled up with a blunt. He shared the blunt with them, and people online online or whatever made a big deal. Like oh, during COVID, you're gonna share a blunt, like you're gonna spread the virus. They were making that big of a deal. So I'm uh -huh. like. All I did was like tweet like, oh, so you could smoke COVID now? Like, I guess it's better than eating Tide Pods. And I tweeted that and I get suspended. I got kicked off of Twitter for a week for that. For so a that, fucking joke. That right. wasn't even that wasn't even like bad. No, it was I thought it was funny. I mean, I didn't I think it was know. bad. I don't know if it was funny, but it definitely wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> so you can't you, know? even, you you can't even make a joke anymore on Twitter. I mean, I haven't been on Twitter in like like a year. Dude, that they, they want you to be like fall in line, fall in line. They don't want you to have like free thoughts or free expressions. They want to they're trying to do that everywhere, like not just fucking YouTube. Now it's on Twitter. It's on fucking social media, you know, where a lot of people fucking talk these days. They want to they, they don't want to let you speak your mind. No, right. this is all kind of tying together to something that it's formulating in my mind and it's kind of nuts. But usually not. You probably didn't. I. Uh, hear this while you were talking one time on the podcast but tesla elon uh, elon musk formulated this way to read a monkey's mind and play a video game for them right so they attached these like i don't know brain weight oh no i think they they had to like you know surgically implant something into the thing's brain and then it had the uh all those you know those wires and shit and sensors on and the remote control was plugged in and he was playing that pong game you know bing Bing, fucking like, monkey bing, playing bing, pong. Yeah. Right. So he's playing it for real. And then what happens is they un they read his waves, then they unplug the remote. So he's not playing anymore. But they fucking have recorded how his brain waves work while he is is moving the remote. So now that he's pretending to use the remote, it's still doing exactly what he's he's he wants he's intending it to based upon the reading they got from his brain waves, right? So that's something they already have. Now, what happens when they plant a chip in us and they're able to fucking just tell what everybody's thinking? And then you have to hide your thoughts from somebody. Imagine you have to hide your thoughts. You just smoke weed all day and fry your brain. <laughs> I would never leave my house. I told this. I, I, can you imagine? imagine yeah, that's what it's gearing up to, though. There, there's things. There, no. There's things. That, Excuse me. There, there's things that I think about, and then it just show it just magically shows up on YouTube. Yeah, magically. It's you don't like, say it I out loud. I don't do any. I don't do any. I don't do any any uh, searches on 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 Google. I don't do anything. I'm just thinking about it, and then go go to YouTube, and it's there, and it's there, and yeah. it's not like I, oh I saw this earlier or anything like that. It's just something that pops in my head, and and so suddenly YouTube has it there. So I, I don't know. I, I think they already got I think they already have that technology, Nick. 
huge. I, that'll be a great fucking magic trick. If you could, br- if I could bring you to a party, I'm like, yo, turn on your YouTube, Eugene, think of something. <laughs> and then that shit pops up. I'm like, yo, I told you. <laughs> yo, but I, I think I had that like instances too, man, where I was like, I mean, obviously, like when you're, you know, part of the algorithm, like you, you search something or you shop for something all of a sudden, like you get hit with ads like left and right. But I, yeah. you know, I could have sworn, like you usually said, like I was thinking about shit, just thinking about shit. Like it was in my mind. And then all of a sudden, you're right. It did pop up on fucking YouTube. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's fucking scary. If they're already fucking reading your mind or your brainwave somehow. Like, I mean, they already listened to us with the fucking cell phones. Maybe they're fucking reading our minds, too. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I totally think it's possible. Maybe I'm that's why sure. maybe that's why there's no like attempts on presidents' lives anymore. They already know. Like I was watching Forrest Gump the other day. I said I was like, there was like in, right. in like five years, there was like three presidents that got shot or something like that. And like something like that. Not it's probably not five years or three presidents, but nobody when's the last time there's been a fucking assassination attempt? <laughs> that's true. You know, not that I want it to happen, and now we're right. probably going to get kicked off YouTube there's, for fucking even mentioning that. But there's, probably strikes there's me. People, yeah, there, there's people that have the ability to read minds. Okay, it's it's not a secret. People know that it, it, it's it, it's off. You you can find it often if you're in if you're in gnosis. People are able to do that. Now the government knows this. They have they have those kinds of people working for them. They figured out a technology that mimics what people can do, you know, what these special people can do. That's it. Somehow or another, they, they figured it out. They have, they have some weird, crazy technology. I mean, we, we could talk about CERN, we could talk about, we could talk about a lot of different things that the government has. They don't <laughs> talk about it. They don't really go into detail with it, but some crazy things out there. <laughs> hey, for a brief second, like you are, uh, you were like, talking like real slow like you were breaking up <laughs> it's like you almost you it's almost like you were having a stroke like mid-sentence it's almost like like they're trying to disconnect me they don't <laughs> right want, they don't want this they don't want this information out there yeah <laughs> for real or they killed you and they replaced you with clone eugene like between those you pixels. Never know. <laughs> right. you never know I, I don't know how far how far into the rabbit hole we could go but yeah it's who knows who knows man? i'm not eugene i'm w gene <laughs> Whack Eugene. <laughs> oh. TG. oh shit. Oh yeah. So I mean, I guess what's up with uh, Australia and um the land down under. The land down under. Talk about that. I mean, you want to take a quick commercial break? Yeah. All right. So listen, everybody, we're gonna take a quick commercial break on the Mix It Up podcast, and we'll be right back after this message. My nipples are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Mix It Up podcast. We are back. I'm Mike. That's Nick. That's Eugene. We are talking about Australia again and what's going on down under. What the hell is going down under, man? What's going on down there? Eugene, you, you sent this fucking topic out. What are they doing over here with vaccinations? Apparently, this is like almost, I think it's about a week ago now. So we may be a little bit late on this on this topic, but... Still very re- relevant. Uh, Twenty four thousand kids they they brought into an, an arena without the parents. The parents had to stay outside, and they vaccinated all these kids. And and from what I understand, a few few of the kids died right there when they got the when they got their vaccination. So I mean, wow. Uh, I, I did right right there on the spot. Like they, they just like collapsed right or there. had seizures or whatever. Right there on the spot, they they died. I don't know how long it took, but before they left that that arena, they didn't leave that arena. They they died. So Jesus. Some crazy things happening in, in Australia. I, I really feel for the people of, of, of Australia right now. I mean, what else is happening? That the the, uh, the uh, contact tracing. Some guy, like they showed up at some guy's house that for, I don't even know why, like for, for no reason, like they, they were like, why'd you leave your house? What are you doing? And the guy was just like, I just took a drive. Like I needed to get some fresh air. They were like, where'd you go? We don't know what, they, they, there's all these stories like this online. If you, if you look, you can really, you know, you got to dig a little bit, but you can find them, you know, go yeah. to BitChute, 
just start typing in Australia and, and COVID and you're going to start finding like stories left and right. Mm-hmm. Are you think they're testing Australia right now with all this crazy shit? Australia is is the demo test. Yeah, they, they are the test. They, that's the better. Um, you know, that's the island that they pick to see how people are going to react. You know, I that's that's what I see at least. I mean, besides China, China, like I said, in, in like past the past podcast, China is already communist. Those people that they're already used to to following orders and and you know doing what what they're told. But Australia is different. Nick, what do you think, man? I mean, you just, you just, I never really sunk into my head that when people say that, you know, they're, they're trying to build this country into like communism and socialism, whatever the hell it is. But when you just said that, I was like, we could easily in the next few years become communist. And, and people, people <laughs> think that it's not possible somehow because. Right because we're in the United States and they trust their leadership. How could you think that that's not possible? If it's other, if it's in other places, it could easily be here. <laughs> of course. Right? Especially like, if like, a, especially if another country like China, like China is fucking calling the shots and they're making this shit happen. They can make it happen. Look what they're doing. I mean, you divide and conquer, right? Look at all, look at all the division that's been going on in this fucking world between vaccines originally between you know, all the protests, you know, cops or whatever, the race war they wanted to happen. And now, like, this whole major, major vaccine, do I get it? I'm totally against it. I'm totally for it. Or I'm somewhere in the middle, like, I don't know right now. I'm kind of on the fence. It's like three different groups right now just over this vaccine. And then you can't go here. You can't go there. It's just, I don't know. It's just too much for for a lot of people to to handle. And it's leading to, like, you know, mental fucking illness and shit. You know, people are losing their fucking minds besides losing their fucking jobs. I mean, if you lose your job, that's going to probably make you lose your fucking mind, too, if you have nothing to fall back on. So it's a lot going on, man. A lot going on. Division and conquer. Mm -hmm. But. (laughs) So (laughs) is that true or not? (laughs) Multiplication and conquer. I think it's divide, (laughs) divide, conquer, not division. (laughs) It's add and conquer. (laughs) <laughs> so Mike would go home from school and your parents would be like, Mike, you got to do your homework, but and then you can go play games with your friends. So division yeah. and conquer is what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> and destroy my friends. <laughs> oh, shit. Do we have any more topics? Oh, yeah. Weather. <laughs> We're going to get to the top, the weather topic. The weather. I can't wait for this, wait for this one. Manipulate the fucking good. weather. Yeah, it's weather, weather. It's weather manipulation, man. I don't know if you guys fucking believe it. Like I, I kind of do, but I mean, look what's happening now. Like you get this fucking another hurricane, another hurricane. All the fucking waters coming up the east coast. Like we never get hit with fucking hurricanes ever. Like the last time we had one was Sandy, and before that was like how long ago? Now we're getting hit with all this fucking rain. It's gonna be like fucking five inches of rain up here in Westchester. Like people aren't prepared for that kind of fucking wetness. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, you know what they're trying to do. They're just trying to. They're trying to flood everybody out. They're trying to to get rid of all the crops. They're, they're trying to to starve people out. I, there, there's so much that that they can do with the weather. It's that's like their main weapon. That's their weapon of choice. And I, I've seen the uh, the next rad technology that they have. Like you could, if you watch, if you watch. Uh, these storms brewing up, you could see how they steer the storms from time to time. And sometimes, like you see these storms, they're right in the mainland and they're gaining, they're 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 gaining strength, which is impossible. Like in order for a storm to gain strength, it needs to be by the water. It has to be like by the sometimes they go back out to the water and then they, they come back again. Like that, that happens. But for yeah. a storm to be on on the land and, and to get worse. There's something really not natural there. You know that there's there's something going on. You would think that's how it's always been. But now all of a sudden it's fucking shit is changing. <laughs> and then people just say, oh, it's because of fucking global warming because the fucking planet's on fire. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, like, is that true? Blame everything on global warming. That's all. Just, you know, what is it? When I was when, when we were in grade school, when I was in grade school, they, they were talking about the ice age was coming. Oh, everything is going to turn back to ice again. You know, we have 20 years before the ice age is coming. Now, you know, 
global warming, climate change, all of this. I, do I believe there's climate change? I really do. I really do. do I, I think we're, we're to blame for it. You know, the us, people us who are three? in charge. No? Now we're us fixing three? it, Nick. Us Nick, we're the, ones, we're the ones who are going to fix it. We could fix it, the three of us. All right. <laughs> we're going to take care of this. Just get more listeners. We should start a, a superhero cartoon, a regular man superhero cartoon show between us, just us three. Cartoons. I'm, I'm oh. with it. Let's do it, Nick. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to make it tomorrow. All right. But <laughs> you solve crimes. You were onto something, though, Eugene. We, what happened? Are you still t- t- talking about that or no? What else you want? To, what else you, about the weather? What else yeah. you want to hear about? Where did you leave off? They're, they're able, they're able to, to steer the weather. They're able oh, to. Yeah. Next rad, next rad is is their their new technology. Before next rad, they were using harp. Harp was the biggest harp that they had was in uh, Alaska, and then they they decided to close down harp because they don't need it anymore. They have they have all their that that technology is spread throughout the United States. It's spread throughout Europe. Next rad, it's, the, it's like the next phase of technology. They they do what they want with this with this technology. What about you know, like? What about all? What about in California with all the uh, the uh, forest fires and shit like that? Like people, you know, either s- suspect like global warming, or lasers are getting shot from the moon to cause like these <laughs> fires. Like you know what laser. I mean? Like laser, laser, <laughs> la- <laughs> sharks with laser beams attached to their freaking heads. Like is that like is that real? Like you think lasers are actually shooting down from fucking the the moon and shit? to start it's, fires it, it's another one it's another one that I, that I looked into and and honestly i believe that as well I, not from the moon obviously but <laughs> from where they, cloud they, you know people have drone? taken they've gone up with their they've gone up with their drones they've taken pictures of of like some cars are burnt to a crisp and then the car like right in, in between them has nothing like it like not right. a scratch on it there's trees that are burning from the inside out. What kind of forest fire burns trees from the inside out? It, it doesn't make sense as usual. And, and like there's rich areas where all the houses got burned down, but they, they left all the trees, you know, because they want to go there and probably build it up themselves one day. Hmm. Whoever's in charge. So for, they want that me, property. Maybe, yes, maybe, right. maybe they got to start looking at the reasons why they want that property over there. Right, and they, they have those reasons as well. They're talking about some kind of railroad uh, going through like all of California, and and that that's what they want. You know, that that's where they want to place. I believe I, I believe it was some kind of railroad, like some kind of high tech railroad that they want to put above all the way ground. The West Coast. Huh? It'll be above ground, right? I'm not. Sh- I'm assuming. I'm assuming, but I, that was just something that I heard. Well, like, I, I, so who it's knows? The wild who West knows what they want? It's the Wild West they again, <laughs> where they used to. Just, used, it's the Wild West where they used to kill people and take their land for the trains to go through. We're doing it again, <laughs> <laughs> doing the same shit. History repeats itself. <laughs> it's all the same. It's all Back the to the Future Three yeah. again. <laughs> you, you remember si- the Sims? No, the, the Sim City. Remember the Sim City game? Yeah, I remember that. Yep. And you could control the weather, and like you could just throw a hurricane down if you wanted oh, to be an yeah. idiot, and like oh shit, you know. I mean, that's. That could be potentially what's going on here because they have all of the capability, the leaders of the world, right? It's all proven. I mean, like Eugene said, they could, they could read, people can read people's minds. Fucking, they can control the weather. It's been proven. It's just like boron or something like that. It's something with a B or a boronic, whatever, something. They just have to put a little bit more over here and they can manipulate a cloud <laughs> to do this and fucking put a storm there. It's a proven fucking fact. So, why wouldn't people who have all this power just fucking toy around with us all day? And they don't have to be a person up in the sky. They don't need to be a hundred times bigger than us playing a video game. They could be in their fucking mansion in the, the, the fucking North pole where nobody's allowed to go because that's where all the fucking bazillionaires are just playing their fucking video game. Like, hey, yeah, let's uh, get the radar here. Let's put a more of a little b- b- more boron in the air. Let's uh, put those fucking uh, chemtrails up in the air over here. You know, Do I believe it. A hundred percent, man. Of course there's some fucking, people just playing with us there has to be there's no other explanation no it has to be like a a team to control all this kind of shit it has to be a control like an an elite group of people it's just like 
come on, man. Everybody, everything in the world like has a boss, like a leader, you know, God, whatever you want to fucking call it. Like yeah. it, it has to be that way. What well, else is going to be? Ultimate, I mean, that for me, that that's already like, like you're saying, I, it's already a hundred percent true for me, but what's their ultimate agenda? That's, that's, that's where I don't, I don't see like, I girls don't just want to have fun, man. Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're just fucking around. Yeah. They have nothing else to do. They're just bored. They're like, all right, let's, yeah. let's, you know, let's make some crazy storms for these people. Let, let's, let's start killing people. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I mean, what if they like just pl- making bets with each other? Yo, I guarantee I could get the United States to go to war with China in the next three years. And the guy's right. like, no way, man. No fucking way, man. I'll take that bet, though. I'll take that bet. And then the battle's on, man. Let's start this fucking war up, right? And then the other 11 people, you know, they got their side bets, too. Oh, I got to fucking get this global warming going. You know what I mean? I got to get this up. And they're just doing crazy shit, man. That's what they're doing. It's playing a fucking ping pong game with us. It's a game of battleship. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it's all a big game. That's all. So we got to play our game, too. What's our game? Risk? To rise up like Australia. I don't know. I was honestly from from what France. like really smart people with their with their their channels and and you know the preppers and everything, they're talking about decentralization as as the key to to combating all this everything that's happening. So they're they're talking about small communities, crypto, uh, <laughs> possibly crypto, right? <laughs> Part of your own currency. And and net networking between communities, and basically breaking up the federal government, breaking up the states. Everything will be small communities. Get yourself a sheriff, sheriff in, in a community, and and live, live 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 life, you know, as best as you can with you know in that little community. So it's basically like the end of the world as we know it. If if that's what it really comes down to within the next year, which I think I think that's that's where we're headed is people are going to be like, I, I can't be in this society anymore. Well, dude, I'm going to tell you, well, go on, go on. If, dude, if they switch to like crypto, everything's going to have a receipt on it. They're going to know every fucking thing yes. you can find. So, I mean, I love crypto. Don't get me wrong. It's making me some dough, but like they're going to, they're going to know everything you fucking buy, purchase with it. There's always going to be some kind of tracking information with the good old American dollar. You can't always fucking track that shit, man. That's why, like, that's the all-time leader of, like, underground shit. Like, if everything's getting traced, there'll be no more underground shit. Like, everything will be fucking, you know what I mean? You won't be able to get guns on the street. You won't be able to get fucking, you know, all kinds of fucking, you know, scumbag shit under fucking ground. You know, you won't be able to place bets on the side. You know, you won't be able to fucking, like, buy something without Uncle Sam knowing. You know, it's it's going to be all that. That's what's That's what's happening. But I thought the crypto was supposed to be that you there is no paper trail of it. Supposedly, but everything's on the blockchain, right? Everything's accounted for. So is somebody it, it, it doesn't go, it does it does it disappear? I mean, they have one that's called Monero where it just makes it like untraceable, but do you really believe that in a way? I mean, somebody's gotta be back behind the scenes. And I mean, I'd imagine it is because this there's, there's probably people. That, uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be because, yeah, there could be like, a, I don't know. There could be a way to, to store it without around it. it. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, what the fuck are you buying that you give a shit about the government knowing, like, number one, that, oh, I spent ten seven ten dollars and 17 cents at TJ Maxx today. Uh, Anything you don't want to get taxed on, Nick. Yeah, taxed. Okay, but that's what you're worried about now, tax? Like, I mean... I mean, listen, if you don't want the fucking government to find out about it, you pay cash right on the side, you don't get yeah. taxed for it. You don't get you don't get billed later, you know, but that's yeah. that's that's one way to like for that to go away. Yeah. But then, like you, you know? said, where people want to get together and like band together and just grow their own crops and stuff like that. So maybe we're going back to the barter system and we won't need fucking money anyways. You know, that'd be cool, but that's unrealistic. It's very unrealistic because nobody even knows how to make food for themselves anymore. Nobody knows how to do shit. Like, everybody's like, yo, where's the microwave at? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, come on. 
all the hippies that wanted to like decentralize the government and all that stuff would be like, oh, fuck, man. We really fucked ourselves here. <laughs> like, where's the power? Like, oh, you got to plug that shit into Ed's arm. He got the vaccine, so he could fucking, he could, he could make electricity out of his fucking left, left fucking bicep. <laughs> That's why I think with this whole thing that's happening right now, that's why the United States is going to be hit the hardest because in the United States, people, I mean, here, I, there's, there's, we have farms here. We have, you know, people grow, grow chickens, people grow animals, people raise animals, you know, it, there's food, there's food, but I mean, there's plenty of farms in, in, in the United States, but a lot of it is, a lot of what you're eating is coming from these commercial farms, these industrial farms. And and when when they go, or when Bill Gates finishes buying all of them up, like, what, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? How many people actually know how to grow stuff in the United States is a question. I, I really don't know, but we're, well, we're going to see, I think. I mean, I got a feeling. I think a lot of the people in Manhattan with their, their windowsills and their fucking little flower pots, when they go to Home Depot <laughs> and plant their little fucking tomato seeds, I think they got right. it under control. <laughs> That's what we're opening up. We're opening up a Home Depot fucking joint all over fucking Manhattan. There's going to be one on every fucking corner, like CVS's. Yeah. You want to plant shit on your roof? You want to plant some tomatoes? <laughs> what the hell were we just talking about? Hippies? <laughs> With the crypto. Hippies about grip- crypto. That was a good point, Mike, about the taxes. I mean, but ultimately what I see with crypto is if somebody gets out of line, if everything is, is electronic and somebody gets out of line and there's no there's no cash, there's no way for that person to make money unless they have their crypto account. Like somebody, the government doesn't like them for some reason, whatever it may be, just cut off, cut off their crypto, their crypto account. And they're done. What are they gonna do? How are they gonna how are they gonna live? How are they gonna survive? Then right? they think you have yeah, you then they think you have no money, you have nothing. Right. You got nothing. Or just take take all the money that they have out, out of their account. And and you know, that person is screwed. Right. What do you do? Yeah, you have nothing at home, pretty much, like you know. No, no insurance to talk to you. Is there gonna be like an insurance company to cover that if you lose all your crypto? Come on. Yeah. yeah. The FDIC, <laughs> you know, maybe we should form our own fucking crypto fucking insurance company. Hmm. What are you going to do when, idea. what are you going to do when two people are like, yo, man, why don't we just make our own coins, our own physical coins to represent our Bitcoins? And it just goes back, right? They're just like, all right, you give me fucking 10 Bitcoins. I give you 10 of these coins. <laughs> it's just, it could potentially just go back to that, which it probably it could, it could go back to that. You know, the the Bitcoin goes back to real coin. It's possible, yeah. It's possible. Not possible. Or you don't, or you don't even get rid of, or you don't get rid of paper money. It's just backed by Bitcoin. You know. The other way around, you're saying. So. No, no, you and you, you're invested in Bitcoin. You're invested in Bitcoin, and the dollar is just out there representing Bitcoin. You I know. See. Instead of gold, so I guess instead of it being backed by gold, it's backed by Bitcoin. Right. But the whole point, people don't want that the physical fucking shit anymore. They want everything through your phone. They don't yeah. want to, you know what I mean? They don't want to carry fucking around money. They, that's why people use their credit cards and shit. It's easier. But how long are credit cards really going to last? Just use your fucking phone, man. Boom. Fucking press a button, have an app, and then, you, then you're on your way. It's all about like convenience, man. Everybody has a phone on them, so it's it's the way right. the world is going, you know? I mean, you, you, you know the excuse is coming that, that, oh, the COVID is now on, on money, it's on clothes, you can't, you know, you can't be exchanging money anymore. So you need to go to this, 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 to this currency, this cryptocurrency now, whatever they, they, they decided, you know, which cryptocurrency they want. And then that, that's when everything goes, you know, ballistic. See, that, that's why I like XLM, Eugene, because... XLM could like transfer or change over different currencies like within in an instant. So if you want to pay in Bitcoin or if you want to pay in XRP, XLM changes that for you in an, in, a, in a second. So say if one merchant wants to only accept Bitcoin and one merchant only wants to accept this coin, that's why um, I love that coin because it's going to be able to to fit that mold. 
you know, that's for awesome. convenience. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great feature. That's that's their main feature besides, you know, cross-border payments and shit like that as a as a really quick fee. Okay. Like way better than like Western Union paying like 150 to send five bucks over Western Union. XLM takes care of that with right. ease and cheapness. Public display disclaimer. This show is not sponsored by XLM, <laughs> but, we will, but we'll be one day. I, I would buy it, but I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just Mike. <laughs> just buy take, XLM. I'm telling everybody you. Take, take everything you have and just go buy as much XLM as possible. <laughs> <laughs> But do your own research. Yeah, do your own research about it. Huh? <laughs> Think about it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and then do it. Shit. Uh, you got any Eugene words of wisdom for the, the fans out there, Eugene, that you want to you know, share? We should do a Eugene segment of words of wisdom. Before I mean, we log off? If, yeah. if you're asking me, I mean, okay. Uh, get into Gnosis. Uh, get out of the cities. Get out of the cities, please. You know, you too, get out of the city. This is this winter is gonna be like I'm pretty sure it's this winter. I, I'm pretty sure the way that they're moving, they're moving so fast right now. They're they're mandating all this. Get out, get out, get out of the way, man. And and get good with, get right with yourself, get in balance, get in harmony with nature learn about gnosis if if anything i'm saying is is resonating with you go go and start looking up you know go to the websites i, I don't want to give out the websites but it they're, they're easy to find just start i'll give it out gnosis, gnosis.com <laughs> capital g lowercase n o s capital i lowercase <laughs> <dot com. laughs> that ain't it that ain't it but but uh <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying for you Nick I want I want to say something profound for you and it's just it, it's not there at the moment I'm that's sorry. okay <laughs> yeah. I'll tell us the people something profound I know you you do it Nick come all on all right ready I'm gonna tell you you guys something profound I have it right here where is it you wrote oh, it down shit. no it's a final fortune cookie I keep it with me because it's really good it's a really good one yeah. it's set uh, fuck it's stuck to the table okay it's just it says, it's lucky numbers it says fortune sides with him who dares. That is the truest fortune cookie I've ever seen in my life. Very good. Wow. That's the coolest. I, I agree. That's the coolest fortune I've ever heard from a fortune cookie. Fortune sides with him who dares. So people, mm -hmm. people say, oh, why is he so lucky? Because he got off his ass and he tried and he did some work. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're right. Take that chance. You gotta take the chance, man. I don't have any wisdom. Now I feel left out. Maybe uh I don't know, don't piss in the wind. That's good. Or or yours should be surround your little Buddha. Surround yourself with wise friends. Therefore, you too will look wise. That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying Good to be Confucius. I was trying Good to be Confucius, guys. You, you sound like a drunk Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> <laughs> you guys going to cancel me? You guys going to cancel like, me? Nah, we're, we'll, we'll eventually get fucking three strikes and we'll be fucking canceled out of YouTube. I know that for <laughs> sure. Will we talk about this on this fucking podcast? But listen, before we go, man, we got like a little sponsor for the Mix It Up and part of the BBO NYG podcast family. So our sponsorship is called playactionpools.com. You could go there. It's like a little football betting thing. It's free to sign up, you know, log on, get your screen name. Basically, we're going to have a contest. It's going to be if you think you are a football genius. So in the NFL, you pick every game every week with the spread. That's with the points. And at the end of the year, Whoever is going to be the leader in this group, we're going to have like a little cash prize. We'll we'll get into that details more next week and how you become eligible for that prize, you know, besides the betting. And all you do is just sign up at playactionpools.com and look for our, you know, headline on our uh, on our pool. It's the BBO NYG podcast pick them pool. So sign up, join the league, man. It's free. You know, maybe you can win some fucking money. Yeah. Sign up. 
Nick signed up. I signed up. Eugene, you're going to sign up, right? I can't wait. I'm going to go order five TVs so I can watch all the games here in, in the middle <laughs> of the jungle. There you go. There you heard it. Five TVs he's getting by next week. Well, yeah. with that, guys, that's it for the Mix It Up podcast this week. I'm Mike. That's Nick. That's Eugene. Peace. Enjoy the week. Remember to keep your underwear clean. Keep it clean. Um, the cat in the box.